Hello everyone, and welcome back to Greedfall. We finished our first side mission and confronted some political stuff that we are we were not given all the information about, but you know, political. Now we're headed to talk to the other group to see what they have for us. Which is on the exact opposite side, of course. Zoom. And here we are. Whoop. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tear D on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. Side mission. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You were hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I don't I'll know why you have to awkwardly lean do. forward every once in a while. <laughs> Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. Uh, of course. What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. Because, yeah, you only have to choose one or the other, huh? 
How is Teleme faring on Tirfredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tirfredi? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. Oh yeah, so we're dealing with some interesting people on both sides. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. So now time to find these uh, heretics, is what they're calling them. I guess we can. Well, that was weird. I wonder if that'll show up by recording. <laughs> it just decided that it needed to glitch off to my other screen. Anyway. And we have to search everything, of course. Zoom. Guy's just staring at the wall over there, okay. Nope, oh, oh, traffic jam. Oh, that person looks just like me. Ah. Uh, well, we'll talk to that guy later. First, we gotta do the side mission. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Oh, yeah. We do need to. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. <laughs> <laughs> there are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. <laughs> so offended. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Oh, of course. Well, first of all, have you seen anyone wandering about? Him. Suspicious looking, maybe clandestine passengers. 
Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Hmm. Well, now it's... If we're gonna be truthful than that, we'll, we'll talk openly. A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. You're welcome. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We, of course, refused entry. Only the Nords have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. And be back soon, Captain. We'll leave the rest for we later. Need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. Mm. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we we'll need this. to find a way into his jail. Yeah. So they are technically another faction. None of the factions really get along besides the the merchants, which is what we are a part of. We kinda get just play neutral with everybody. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so here is zone controlled by other factions. So there's zones around the areas that'll be controlled by certain people. But as it says, a costume, so you just need the torso section of said faction will allow you to trick the guards. Or you can just sneak in, which has never worked for me. But. Um, I don't think I have a knot jacket. Nope. So pretty much just, just run in and take a jacket off of someone. <laughs> like, that's pretty much it. Forget. Oh yeah, we can crouch. Because you can be sneaky. It's not gonna work though. Sneak attack! <laughs> But now, oh, you didn't have fucking clothes, you weirdo. <laughs> that gave us the wrong fashion or er, faction's clothing. Er, my god. I just need a jacket. <laughs> Give me your clothes. You gave me boots. I need your shirt. <laughs> cool. Well, we got all the other parts than the part we need. I don't even know if this is technically the building I need to be in right now. Ah, there we go. Now I can fit right in. We are one of the sailors. Yes, because you know our luxurious hats isn't gonna give us away. I don't think this is where I needed to go right now. Oh, I kind of did because the jail keys. Oh boy. <laughs> that just happened. Okay, so now we can... Hello, Kurt. We can walk around freely. Because we have one of their jackets. See? Don't we look like one? Totally.
Hello, let me into your jails. Don't mind me. I've seen a few escapes in my time. Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question? If this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. <sighs> you can see for yourself that I'm no naught. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Lene. They are trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't well, really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. <laughs> a real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two telemites are <laughs> hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? <laughs> Just leaves them in there. Come on now. Let me out. I actually didn't go yes. that route last time. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. I don't think there's anything in here. We can just become one with the jail now. Okay, we'll go out the back and... It's blocked. Or not. That's how I've gotten in before. Never mind then. Is there something back here? Is it locked? I want the stuff though. Yes. Okay. Oh. Hello? What can I do for you? We're your replacements. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Ooh, he just glitched. Courage, me hearties. I'll explain what that was later when we get to that part. That was for a different uh, part of the... or a different quest. Well, now we have a couple of options that we can go about getting into the area. But this is usually the safest. Hello, heretics. Who? Who is there? May the illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison. But reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Uh, yep. How that usual sort of stuff happens. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of Saint Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of Saint Matthias. And? What did you find? Tiafredi is without any doubt the land that our Saint Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, Saint Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the Illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced Saint Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white. And there is no doubt about it. 
The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. And if you have one person deciphering a text and another person deciphering the text, they could come up with completely different things. So, that's another problem you run across. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. I mean... Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Oof. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could. Forget what you have discovered, perhaps? Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. I mean, why would I return them to people that want to kill them? Um... Yeah, I mean, we can speak to him I for him. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Yeah, poor people. Just because they, you know, read something and that's what it said. Cool. Oh, a little broken there, Kurt. Nyrum. Gotta loot all the stuffs, though. Whoop. Hello again. Now I'm gonna oh, run around the stairs because physics. Wow, okay, that is the slowest walk up the stairs ever. Again, stealing all the shit. Descend. Okay. okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this. Okay, well, now on to tell what the other faction about them and try to get them some, in a sense, political asylum, I guess. Ooh. Letter. Poorly written notice. To the family of the rich man who provoked us. We have him, and we will kill him if you don't pay us handsomely. Come with a full purse to the alley south of the old warehouse district. Huh. Could that be talking about a certain someone, maybe? Oh. We don't want to be back there. We gotta go around this way. Hi, yeah, okay. Your well, let's see. Lady Dusade. He's a very, like, I really want to touch his beard just to see if it is as soft as it looks. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme, and it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated. 
Or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. <laughs> of course they'd want to help people that are against their e enemy going. in a sense. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady Desade. We owe you our lives. Oh. We are eternally <laughs> grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too what much is difficulty happening? adapting to your new country. <laughs> if you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Hmm. Ooh, there's a lot of gold. You have a I'm sorry for the on. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. <laughs> I, I love that stating. to end up on a burning pyre. <laughs> it would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Duh. <laughs> okay. Well, we finished that quest. Let us set up for the next one. Oh yeah, we still need to inform him that we uh, pretty much just set them free. Bet you that's going to go over well. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> You're just gonna be pissed at me. It Ooh. pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them. Does it pain me? How could that possibly have happened? Now, we could just continue to tell the truth, or we could just straight up lie about it. I might as well just tell After the truth. I heard the case they made for themselves. I decided We're to neutral, let them we don't speak. care. What are you saying? They convinced me that your accusations have nothing to do with heresy, and that their only crime was discovering historical truths denied by Teleme. And you gave credence to the lies preferred by these blasphemers. Their historical truths are nothing but nonsense, fabricated to undermine the foundations of Teleme. The simple act to have proffered such horrors proves the fact that they are heretics. I fear that your youth and kind heart has blinded you, De Sade. That is a shame. I was expecting more from a young legate who seemed sensitive to our magic. Well, you know what? You guys can deal with it. I don't want to. I must be going. Farewell, yeah, get between that. May the light guide you, Dasade. And we leveled up. What do we get? Ooh, we actually get part of our giant seal tree here. So we can. Use rings on this side, which helps us do more magic, in a sense, with our whatnot. Or we can do stasis, which is freaking useful, but not necessarily maybe right off the bat. Oh yeah, we already have those. So we can either just straight up inflict more damage, or we can just have our stasis last longer. Which right now, I'm good for just the damage. Oh, we have two points. And we'll do two. Alright, and then... So, since we're still wearing our stuff, we'll do this quest next. Because I'm just going to do a quest per episode since it takes about a half an hour per one right now. But I might be able to fit in these two for the next episode, because I don't think they're nearly as long. But, so I'll end it here, and be sure to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, and thanks for joining. Bye!